So we have created sub accounts in Twilio. We have created a client or clients and we've attached that client to one of those sub accounts. Now what we need to do is um, edit our list so that it is attached to a client. So um, if I click on one of these lists I have in here, uh, you'll see that there's a box somewhere on the right. It could be higher, it could be lower. Um, you, you will see a client um, box with a drop down of all uh, the clients you have on your site. So when you create a new list, you can optionally, it's not actually mandatory, basically when you, when you assign a list uh, or assign a client to a list, that is just telling the system what Twilio settings to use, what phone numbers to display when uh, for this list. So when, it, when a message goes, when someone, a user sends out a message to this list, it's going to use the Twilio settings that are defined for this client, which are most likely a sub account. But again, it could be their own Twilio account. And I've already showed you that in a video. Um, so the default, you know, is going to be none, and that's just going to default to using your site-wide Twilio settings, your master account. But for this list, this list were created specifically for this client, and whenever we send messages in and out, um, it's going to use their sub-account, which will keep their all their information separate, and um, for tracking and for purposes of of billing or, or for um, if you need to suspend their account and that type of thing. So um, the other new feature here is, um, which I believe I've covered in another video, but maybe not. <laughs> I, um, I get my wires crossed here sometimes, but um, uh, creating a, a new user, I've sh there's a video for that, and you can assign, of course, access to that user for this list. So this list, the pizza shop list, these users have access. Or I can say he doesn't have access. Or this user doesn't have access anymore. And then you make those changes, save, and then, um, oops, it does that sometimes. So um, save your changes and you will see that now I only have the McCabe's uh, user with access to this list. Okay, so that is the key way to integrate a, a client into list into a list. Now, keep this keep in mind that users are separate from clients. Clients are really just a way to um, use different Twilio settings for your list. Um, users are who has access to this list. Um, what WordPress users have access. Okay, so um, that covers the, the, the new couple of the new things here on uh, SMS lists.